So we've had our Farmall Cub tractor for about four years now, and uh, we originally bought it mostly just for mowing. We have a sickle bar mower for it and uh, pulling stuff, but we've never plowed. Um, it came with a plow. It came with a Cub 194 plow, and uh, we've never used it. It's just sat here, but we've decided that next year we think we want to have a garden. So uh, all of our land is in grass, so we were going to go ahead and plow it up this fall. And... Uh, so this will be the first time we ever uh, used it. So we're going to try and set it up and get it put together. But uh, like I said, it's a Cub 194 plow. It's got a 14 inch plow chief bottom on it. Uh, it's a international bottom and they're not made anymore. And so far uh, from what I found, parts are hard to find. This one is uh, fairly worn. We got the point here and then the share. Both of those are replaceable parts, if you can find them. Like I said, uh, the previous owner obviously used this for plowing. It's pretty worn, um, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try. Also good for us, the previous owner, after he used it last, gave the bottom a good coating of grease. So it kept the bottom from rusting. So it's nice and shiny. And uh, before we put it in the ground, of course, we'll wipe all that off because we don't want it in the ground. But it uh, should be good to go for plowing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my handy dandy 194 moldboard plow operator's manual and find out what I need to do because I've never done this. So the first thing that it has me do in here is the fast hitch adjustments. So I'm going to have to go through and make sure that my fast hitch is set up properly before I attach the plow. So my first step according to the manual here is for a 14 inch bottom is to set the pull bar at the third hole from the left on the hitch bale. And that is this right here. And when they say from the left, it's always from the back of the tractor looking forward. So I need to move it over to this third hole, which is all the way over. So the next step says to place the quick attachable cotter pin B in the second hole from the right on the stabilizer bar. I don't have a cotter pin in mine. Mine's a bolt, but I need to move this over a little bit. And I've already loosened it with the wrenches. So I'll take this out. It needs to come over to the second hole from the right. There we go. So pull this all the way over first. find the hole. There we go. Replace my bolt. Let's give it a little tighten up with the wrenches. So now it says to make sure that the hand screw at D right here is loose that way the diagonal link is free so I'm gonna have to use my mallet here and then it says that make sure that collar E on the lift rod right here is set approximately six inches away from the swivel as shown in their drawing. This must be done to permit the plow to float up and down. That's my best guess of six inches there. I'll load that up with a wrench. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the plow on. This is the first time this plow has been on this tractor since I owned it. All right, now I'm gonna get some rags and clean up the bottom. So I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but um, I did not put wheel weights on the tractor. I do have them. I've never had them on the tractor, but I do have them. I wanted to see if I could get by with not having them on first to see. I may end up adding them. 
But uh, what I what I did was I went ahead and I, I backed the left side of the tractor up onto a few wood blocks, and that's to help me visualize how the tractor is going to be sitting uh, when we're plowing. Because when you're plowing, you know your right wheel is going to be down in a furrow. And uh, I also forgot to mention this, but I already set my uh, tractor tires to 44 inches, which is what's recommended for plowing. But anyway, what they say is to use this crank to level the bottom and so what I imagine they're saying by that is the bottom of the share should be parallel to the ground so. now I just gotta figure out what that means I think I went the wrong direction maybe That looks pretty good, I think. Maybe a little bit more. Give it a try. And then my depth control lever, is I just have it set pretty much the deepest. So, that, I also wanted to mention that I did not install the coulter. I was reading in the book. using it because we're plowing sod and I know it can be handy for that but uh, due to the due to our hard ground from experience I decided first I'm gonna try it without the culture. So here's my disclaimer. I've never plowed on the cup before. In fact I've never plowed before ever so go easy on me. yesterday and overall I think it went pretty well. Uh, we had a false start, took me a little while to get the controls uh, right. Uh, when I first started plowing I didn't want to penetrate and after half a dozen tries I figured out I wasn't using the depth control lever and uh, once I engaged that I uh, had no problem digging in. Uh, furrows turned pretty well. I didn't have any trouble really with uh, spinning tires as far as needing wheel weights so I think the biggest thing that uh, occurred was the fact that the engine would get lugged down a bit and I'd have to uh, stop and let the RPMs come back up. But overall, my first four into plowing went pretty well. We did these two beds. They're about six to eight feet wide, about 40 feet long. And overall, I'm very pleased with the results. Since the previous owner was so nice to me and uh, he coated the mold board to keep it shiny. I definitely want to keep up on the maintenance. Uh, he used grease, which worked very well, but I don't want to have to put that in the ground, and it was very difficult in some places to get off. So what I'm going to paint my mold board with is linseed oil. Uh, I looked on some uh, blacksmithing forums and stuff, and a lot of people use it to preserve metal. So that's what I'm going to try. and. Uh, We'll just keep an eye on if it starts not working, I'll have to come up with something else, but this is what I want to try and hopefully that'll uh, keep the mold board nice and shiny for me. So I painted the uh, mold board with linseed oil and uh, that should protect it from rusting. Uh, my idea is rather than using grease, by using the linseed oil, I don't need to remove it the next time I go to plow. I just start plowing and the dirt will scour it away. I'm not worried about that. Uh, but other, otherwise, I think everything went real well and I had a good time learning how to plow with my 1954 Farmall Cub and my Cub 194 plow.